Hello, everyone. Welcome to English for You. My name is Reese, and I'm Elsie. And today we have a pretty interesting article to talk about. It's all about dogs, isn't it, Elsie? Right. We're talking about dogs. So, Reese, are you a dog person? Hmm. I am a dog person. Although, please don't tell my cat because she'll be quite angry. Oh, you have a cat now, like I do. I do. Yeah, they're a bit easier a to take too. care of. Right. Um, so, how do you feel about dogs, Elsie? Do you have a particular favorite breed of dog? Actually, I'm not a dog person, but recently I've fallen in love with a breed called Shiba Inu. Oh, oh the Japanese dog, right? Cai Quan. Yeah. I find them so cute.、Mm, they are very beautiful to look at. Right, and they're quiet.、Mm-hmm. And I've heard that they're、so. very, very intelligent as well. Right. Yeah. So. You are a dog person, but you have a cat.、Mm-hmm. So, what's the difference between them? Well, actually, there is a big difference. Cats are very independent, and dogs need a lot of attention.、Mm. Although my cat, she's a Siamese cat, which、mm-hmm. I think in Chinese is Xianluo, right? Xianluo. Yeah,、uh, she she has a personality just like a dog, so it's kind of like having a dog cat. So, so she's perfect. So when you have food on the table, she'll come. She will come and, and investigate. Eat the food, right? Yeah, and she, <laughs> if I throw something, she'll go and grab it. I can even take her to the park as well, and she、oh. loves she loves to go outside. Oh, okay.、Yeah. But my favorite kind of dog is probably the golden retriever. Golden、um, retriever. Yeah. And I think our article will be talking about golden retriever too. It will be.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, this article today is called "The Case of the Missing Dog,"、mm-hmm. and it was written by me. Oh, by you? Yeah. Um, and actually, when I wrote this article, I kind of based it on my golden retriever dog that I had when I was younger,、mm-hmm. uh, and his name was Oliver. Oliver, but you used was so. Is the dog still alive? I'm afraid not. No. Okay. But he did live a very long time for a golden retriever. He lived about 15 years. Wow. Which is very very long.、Yeah. Okay. So why don't we start the article right now and find out what this golden retriever is? Okay. All right. Let's get into the article. The case of the missing dog. Hello, excuse me. Can somebody help me? Good afternoon, ma'am. What seems to be the problem? I'm not sure if I should be coming here for this problem. My dog is missing, and I'm scared that he's going to get hurt. Well, we can help with lost pets. The more information you can give us about your pet, the more likely we can find him. Let's start with what he looks like. What breed is he? He's a golden retriever, just over six years old. He is quite big, perhaps around thirty-five kilograms. He has long golden fur and wears a red collar. That's good to know. I'm noting all of this down for our search team. Does he have a name? Of course, his name is Oliver. He's a very friendly dog. He wouldn't hurt a fly. He will respond to his name when you call him. Wonderful. If you just leave your name and phone number with me, I'll contact you as soon as we've got any information. Okay, so there are two people having a conversation in this article: the pet owner and the police officer. So before we start reading, I think we should talk about the word owner. So owner, spelled O W N E R, is a noun, and an owner is a person who owns something. That means that something belongs to them; it is theirs. We can use this word to talk about anything, really, not just pets. So. For example, I am the owner of a cute little cat called Ponyo. So an example sentence would be: The little old lady was the owner of the big brown dog. Owner 这个字呢，就是主人或是所有者。那如果你把字尾的 e r 去掉，你会看到 own o w a n 这个动词代表拥有。所以我们可以造一个例句啊，我们可以说 She's the owner of that big house. 她是那个大房子的主人，代表 she owns that big house， 代表她拥有那间大的房子。那再来呢 ，o w a n own 也可以当做形容词哦，那解释为自己的。For example, I want to have my own space. Please leave me alone. 我想有自己的空间，请不要来烦我
Okay, so the pet owner is talking to a police officer here, right?、Eh? That's right. Let's read the article. Okay, let's get into it. The article begins with the pet owner, and the pet owner says, "Hello, excuse me, can somebody help me?" Then the police officer says, "Good afternoon, ma'am. What seems to be the problem?" Okay, so the police officer is being very polite here. He used the word "ma'am" here. It's spelled M A apostrophe A M, and the word "ma'am" is a nice word that you can use to address a woman if you don't know her name or if you just want to be really polite. So, have you ever been called "ma'am," Elsie? Yes, sometimes. Ma'am 这个字呢，它代表的是对不知其姓名的女士所采用的礼貌称呼哦，像是小姐啦、女士或夫人都可以。那如果对的是男性，我们会说 Sir。So the woman has a problem here. That's why she's talking to a police officer. What's her problem, though? Well, I think we're going to find out what her problem is, and probably the title of the article gave us a clue. So the article continues with the pet owner, and the pet owner says. I'm not sure if I should be coming here for this problem. My dog is missing, and I'm scared that he's going to get hurt. Hmm. So the pet owner has a missing dog. Yes, her dog is missing, and she's trying to get some help. Yes. And is the police station the correct place to go if you have a missing dog? I mean, if you're in trouble in other ways, I would definitely think about going to the police. But for a missing pet, I think so. But we can also go to a rescue. Um, center. Hmm. I think there to are look for your pet. Yeah, yeah. I think there are places that spe- specify in finding missing pets.、Hmm. But she's gone to the police, and hopefully they can help her as well. Right. So the police officer responds with, "Well, we can help with lost pets. The more information you can give us about your pet, the more likely we can find him. Let's start with what he looks like. What breed is he?" Okay, so here's a very good word. You you may have heard us use this word earlier. It's the word breed, which is spelled B R E E D, and it's a noun, and it's a word that means type or kind, and we use it specifically when we're talking about animals or sometimes plants as well. There are many breeds of cats and dogs, for example. So as we talked about earlier, I have a cat called Ponyo, and her breed is Siamese. So an example sentence using the word Breed would be the Chihuahua is one of the smallest dog breeds. Oh, Chihuahua!、Mm. Chihuahua is a breed. It's one of the breeds. And what are some of the breeds of dogs? Well, we've got Golden Retriever, and here Chihuahua. Yes, and the Queen of England loves Corgis. Corgi, Corgi,、yeah, okay. So cute. And the one that I like is Shiba. Shiba, you like Shiba the Shiba Inu. Inu? And there was another Japanese one as well called an Akita, I think. Akita. Yeah. Okay, and there's one I think、um, Western people like it.、Um, it's called. German retriever or Dr- German, German shepherd. German shepherd. German、yeah. German shepherd. And、the、some people. Yeah, they're be- they're big, beautiful dogs. Right, right, right. And、uh, some people call them Alsatians as well. Oh, cool. Another、cool. name for German shepherd. And、um, there's one called Jack Russell too. It's a tiny dog, and they're very loud and yappy. Ah,、oh, okay. So breed 这个字呢，我们已经知道了，它是动植物的品种或种类。那这里呢，我们知道 the woman's dog is missing. 她的狗失踪了。警察说呢，他们可以。可以帮忙找 lost pets。这边的 lost 当形容词用哦，就等于这个 missing 失踪的、不见的。不过呢，有越多的资讯越好。所以警察问宠物主人 ，What breed is he？ 他是什么品种的 ？Right. Well, let's continue, and hopefully we can find out about the missing dog. So the article continues with the pet owner, and the pet owner says he's a golden retriever, just over six years old. He is quite big, perhaps around thirty-five kilograms. He has long golden fur and wears a red collar. Ah, okay. So it seems we've got a description of the lost dog from the owner. This is going to make it much easier for the police officer to find the dog. 
And uh, we also have a few words to talk about here as well, Elsie.、Mm-hmm. Uh, the first is actually a breed of dog, and it's golden retriever. So a golden retriever is is a breed of dog, and it, and you've probably seen one before. They're very、right. popular, yeah,、uh, especially in America and and European countries.、Uh, many people have golden retrievers because they're big dogs.、Uh, they need a lot of space, so you probably won't see them in cities like Taipei.、Mm. Um, and they're adorable, and they have bright yellow fur, as the name might suggest. Yes.、Um, and they're very playful. They can learn many tricks, and they are the safest dogs to have with a family because they love to play with children. And sometimes, do people、um, train them to be guide dogs? Yes. That's Labrador. I think Labradors and Retrievers can both be guide dogs.、Mm. Yeah, they're But, very smart and loyal as well. Right. So Golden Retriever, 呢，我们这边讲到的这个狗的品种呢，就是黄金。猎犬 and when there are still puppies, I think they are so adorable.、Mm-hmm. They are.、Mm. They look like those. They're just like the perfect little animal. Yes. Okay. Now we know this missing dog is a golden retriever. We also know that he has long golden fur and a red collar.、Mm. So when you said golden retriever in Chinese, how did you say that? Huang Jin. Ah. When I learned the word for golden retriever, I learned it as Jin Mao. Jin Mao. Jin Mao. Maybe that was a Chinese version. Maybe of... that's the name of that golden retriever. Ah.、Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I learned it wrong. All right. Well,、um, we also have two vocabulary words to talk about. The words are fur and collar. So let's talk about fur first. It's f u r and it's a noun. And fur is a special word for animal hair. So many animals are covered in fur, including dogs, cats, and rabbits. I suppose. So an example sentence would be: The little rabbit has black and white fur. Fur 这个字呢不可数哦，那它指的是动物的毛或毛皮。那这边说到呢，走失的这只黄金猎犬呢、啊，它有长长金色的毛。And what about his red collar? What is a collar? Well, a collar, which is spelled C O L L A R,、uh, it's a noun and it's a name of a thing that many pets wear around their necks, especially dogs. It's kind of like a necklace for animals.、Mm-hmm. So you can attach a leash to a dog's collar when you take it for a walk. So the leash is like the long rope that you hold to stop the dog from running into the road. Um, so an example sentence would be: My cat's collar has a bell on it, so I can hear when she moves around. So, collar 这边代表的是套在狗或猫等等动物脖子上面的颈圈或项圈。那其实呢，我们人类穿衣服的时候也有一个 collar。那那个代表是我们的衣领，哈，像是衬衫的领子 ，the shirt's collar。那再来呢，衣领的这个部位啊，就是我们锁骨的部位。所以呢，锁骨叫做 collar bone， 直接在 collar 后面加上 b o n e 就可以了。Okay， so now we know that the dog's collar is red. It is red. And so you were saying just then in Chinese that the word for collar that People wear on their shirts、mm-hmm. is a different word from the collar that animals wear. Right. But in English, it's just the same word. Yeah. Oh wow.、Well. <laughs> sometimes English is harder.、Tricky. Sometimes Chinese is is much harder. Yes. Okay. Well, let's continue with the article, and it's going to carry on with the police officer. And the police officer says, "That's good to know. I'm noting all of this down for our search team. Does he have a name?" Okay, so the police officer is taking notes. He's、um, getting all of this information down on paper so that he can use it to find the lost dog.、Uh, we also have a pocket phrase here. The phrase is to note down, and to note down something means to take notes or to write notes on a piece of paper to help you remember the more important pieces of information. Okay, so to note something down 代表把某事或资讯记录下来。这边这个警察说呢 ，I'm noting all of this down， 也就是我在把所有的这些资讯都写下来。另外呢，再给同学们一个例句哦。The students were noting down the important vocabulary the teacher mentioned. 学生正在记录下老师提到的重要单词。那课文这边呢，则是说到 ，He did this for the search team. Ah, okay. So the police department do have a team of people specifically searching for、mm-hmm. for things. Maybe I don't know if it's specifically for pets, but they're going to help search for the dog. 
So that's pretty good.、Um, well, we have a vocabulary word here too, and it is the word search, which is spelled S E A. R C H, and it can be a noun or a verb. And the verb means to look for something,、uh, and the noun search is the act of searching for something. So an example sentence would be: Our search for a cheap place to spend the night was not successful, so we slept in the car. <laughs> search 这边呢，在文章里面当名词用啊，是搜索、搜寻。那刚刚 Reese 有提到，它可以当做动词。当做动词的时候呢，会搭配 for 这个字。Search for something or somebody. So the owner here is searching for her dog, her missing dog.、Mm. Okay, so does the dog have a name? Well, I think the dog probably has a name, and I think we're about to find out what that name is. And I might have spoiled it earlier. <laughs> so the article continues with the pet owner, and the pet owner says, "Of course, his name is Oliver." He's a very friendly dog. He wouldn't hurt a fly. He will respond to his name when you call him. Oh, Oliver sounds lovely, doesn't he? Oh, your dog was love Oliver too, he right? He was. Yeah, writing this article kind of brought a, a, a tear to my eye、Aww. as I was remembering him. But <laughs>、uh, I have a photo actually of of him in my bedroom. Really?、Uh, so when you were writing this article, did you look at the I photo? I did.、Yeah. But it was. I, I have many happy memories with Oliver,、mm -hmm. and、uh, yeah. Now I have my cat Ponyo. Yeah. And she Ponyo doesn't. Ponyo can be with you. Yes, she can, and she's just like a little dog. Okay, so Oliver is the dog's name. What's your cat's name? You just mentioned Ponyo. Ponyo, yeah, Ponyo. from the Japanese movie. Right,、yeah. like Ponyo on the cliff by the sea. That's the one. That movie. Yeah. Okay, and the owner here says he wouldn't hurt a fly. What does、yeah. that mean? Yeah. Well, it's another pocket phrase, and、uh, Oliver's owner said it that, she, that, that Oliver wouldn't hurt a fly. So, what does that mean? Well, this is a phrase in English that means somebody, or in this case, Oliver the dog, is harmless. That means that they are very Friendly and that they don't like hurting people. Okay, so let's take a break here while we hear more of an explanation about this pocket phrase. Go. Pocket phrase go. Hey, yo! 老师打电话来说，哈，我们家橘子拿篮球打到同学啦。哎呀，肯定是意外或是误会啦。She wouldn't. Harm a fly? He 这么胆小？哎，不是哦，我是说他怎么心地善良，连只苍蝇都不敢打，怎么可能会去打同学嘞 ？Fly 呢，当做动词是飞翔哦。那当成名词呢，则是苍蝇的意思了。如果说呢，我们说一个人 wouldn't harm， 或者是呢 wouldn't hurt a fly， 他连一只苍蝇呢都不会伤害哦，意思就是这个人心地善良。不具伤害性，非常温和的意思啦。好啦，所以我们呢可以从字面上来理解 ，wouldn't hurt a fly 这个片语就是它连一只苍蝇都不会伤害，那代表这个人啊或这个动物心地善良，不具伤害性，也可以说 somebody wouldn't harm a fly。Yeah, I think we use this、uh, phrase in English is it's because you know a fly is a small insect、mm -hmm. that most people wouldn't think twice about killing. Right. You know, people will kill a fly just because it's annoying. But if you're somebody that wouldn't even hurt a fly, that means you're really friendly and harmless. You are so kind. Yeah, like maybe we should change it to saying wouldn't harm a mosquito. Yeah,、mm. or wouldn't harm an ant. Yeah, these are all things that people don't really <laughs> care much about. Okay, so we also had another vocabulary word, and it was the word respond, which is spelled R E S P O N D. And respond is a verb that means to reply to something somebody has said, or to give somebody an answer to a question. So you can respond by speaking, or even by sending a text or an email. So an example sentence would be: The teacher always responds to my emails very quickly. Respond 这个动词呢，代表回应或是做出反应。那这边我们说到呢 ，Oliver will respond to his name when you call him. 你叫他，他就会有反应。He is a clever dog. He's a very clever dog. He must have been been trained by his owner very, very well. Reese. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm a good trainer. Okay, so the article continues with the police officer, and the police officer says, "Wonderful." If you just leave your name and phone number with me, I'll contact you as soon as we've got any information. 
Okay, so the police officer is being very helpful, which is good because losing a dog or a pet is a very scary thing. Right.、Uh, and we also have another vocabulary word, and it's the word contact, which is spelled C O N T A C T,、uh, and it's a verb. And to contact somebody means to get in touch with them,、uh, to call them, or to send them a message. So you can contact somebody again、uh, by phone, by email, by sending a text, or even by sending a letter. If people still do that today,、uh, I haven't contacted my mum in a while. I should really give her a call. Uh, so an example sentence would be: You can contact the school by calling this phone number. Contact 这边当动词用哦，代表你透过打电话或是写电子邮件的方式联系、联络某人。那它是一个及物动词，所以你要联系的对象直接加在它的后面就可以了。那 contact 也可以当做名词哦。Be in contact with somebody 代表与某人是有联系的。For example, are you still in contact with your ex-boyfriend? 你还是跟你以前的男友有联络吗 ？Okay, so the police officer here will contact the woman as soon as they know where the dog is. Yeah, and there we have our last pocket phrase, which is as soon as, and it means that. Uh, it means immediately after. So you use as soon as to say that something will happen right away after something else has already happened. So, for example, I could say, "I will leave the classroom as soon as the bell rings." As soon as 这个片语呢，代表一点点点，就点点点。这什么意思呢？代表第一个动作一发生啊，第二个动作马上接着发生。所以再给同学们一个例句哦。I took a shower as soon as I got home yesterday. 我昨天一回家就马上洗澡。Well. I hope the search team here can find the woman's dog Oliver very soon. Yeah, me too. And I think we'll find out some more tomorrow. But for now, that's it for this article.、Uh, it really does sound like a beautiful dog. Right. And I think we have to wrap up this lesson with our for you chat question now. Let's do it. For you chat. Okay, so our for you chat question of the day is the following: Dogs are often called man's best friend. Why do you think people love dogs so much, and why do they make such good pets? What do you think, Elsie? Hmm, I think they they are so good because they are happy, active, all the time,、mm. and they are loyal. Loyal is very important. I think that's、it? the main point,、yeah. and I think they make their Owners feel they need them.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, dogs kind of exhibit this kind of love feeling、right. that we have from other people sometimes. Right, not like my cat. Yeah, they're kind of moody. Yeah, he'll just sit、uh, there and like telling me, "Don't touch me" or "Leave me alone."、Mm-hmm. Actually, recently I was learning in an evolution class about the first pets that humans had, and it turns out that dogs are the earliest animals that humans learned to、really? domesticate and、oh. control. I thought it was cats. No, it was dogs.、Uh, well, cats in a different way, but but dogs were the ones that we really made a bond with earliest.、Okay. So that could be another reason why we love them so much because、mm. they've been around for so long. And they're in, you know, the, the, our love for them is in our genes. It is. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's all we have time for today.、Uh, so my name is Reese. My name is Elsie. And from for you, we're going to say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> The case of the missing dog. Hello, excuse me. Can somebody help me? Good afternoon, ma'am. What seems to be the problem? I'm not sure if I should be coming here for this problem. My dog is missing, and I'm scared that he's going to get hurt. Well, we can help with lost pets. The more information you can give us about your pet, the more likely we can find him. Let's start with what he looks like. What breed is he? He's a golden retriever, just over six years old. He is quite big, perhaps around thirty-five kilograms. He has long golden fur and wears a red collar. That's good to know. I'm noting all of this down for our search team. Does he have a name? Of course. His name is Oliver. He's a very friendly dog. He wouldn't hurt a fly. He will respond to his name when you call him. Wonderful. 
If you just leave your name and phone number with me, I'll contact you as soon as we've got any information. Vocabulary review. Owner. Brian bought his first house and became the owner of his own home. Fur. Rita petted her cat and felt the soft touch of its black fur. Collar. Fiona's dog ran away, but it was soon returned because her address was written on its collar. Search. In Gary's search for his phone, he looked all over the house and found it under some magazines. Respond. Bryce responded to his surprise birthday party by crying tears of joy. Contact. The company's secretary contacted Emma by email to ask if she was interested in working there. 智慧小补帖 Ma'am. Breed. Golden Retriever. <音樂>以上节目是由活用空中美语制作。活用空中美语杂志，请洽询全国各大书店。如欲索取视听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询。网址是。Triple W dot English 四 U dot net. Triple W dot English 四 U dot net.